Physiotherapy after surgery is important. On this DVD there are instructions as to how you might perform ex uh, exercises for the area in question. You should look at these exercises and generally we will have already shown you how to do this. But the images that we've given you on this DVD should allow you a greater facility to perform those exercises. Please make sure that you do the exercises regularly, at least on an hourly basis, as you will substantially benefit from this. You should also use ice regularly, and the ice packs that are given to you at surgery or before should be used on a regular basis. Generally, after we've done a surgical procedure, we don't need you to see your own physiotherapist for about a week, often until we see you again in the office. You do, however, need to maintain the exercises that we've shown you. You need to elevate the limb, which generally means putting your foot above your buttock so that the water in the leg can drain downhill. Ice is crucial and as mentioned you need to use this a lot. We will generally provide you with ice sleeves at the time of the surgery or before and the idea of these ice sleeves is for you to apply a very effective cooling mechanism to the limb in question. You must use these as much as you can the first time you need the ice sleeves, they need to be put into the freezer of your refrigerator for about an hour. They can then be taken out, inserted into the sleeve and used for a 15 minute period. Their efficiency will drop off during that time and they need to be popped back into the freezer. They can be used again in about an hour. Ice is very effective for pain relief and it's also very good at keeping down swelling. When you come back to see us in my office, we will do a number of things. First of all, we'll explain to you what the surgery involved. We'll tell you if there were unexpected findings, and we will generally reiterate what we've already told you at the time of surgery. Many people don't remember what happened to them in the hospital, certainly not in detail, and we'll try and fill in the detail for you. We may take the dressings off if they haven't already been removed, and in particular in foot surgery, we will take off the dressings, inspect the wounds, generally not take out the sutures, and then put some more dressings back on. We will make arrangements for further treatment as that is required. We will also send a letter to your general practitioner or to your referring practitioner so that they know what we've done. We will give you certificates for leave and if you need further certificates, or if you need them more quickly than when we first see you, you should let us know.